Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do just a quick video to show how to uh, set the jumpers uh, to be able to use uh, 24 volts on the uh, motor drivers. So I'm using the 5160 drivers, six of them, um, X, Y, Actually, I'm going to use two Y's, Z and E, and extruder 1 and extruder 2. So, on the Manta M8P, there is the option to use uh, the pin jumpers here to select if you want to use 12 or 24 volts. So, for the 5160 Pro, um, you can use uh, 24 volts. And for other drivers like the 2209, uh, you're going to use the 12, volt, 12 volts. And you select the voltage by using the jumpers on the pins. Which pins uh, now are kind of difficult to see, but on the top part between the connection of the wire and the driver itself, there are a set of three pins. Are just above the the red, uh, the red pins of the drivers. You can actually tell here. So there are three pins. So if you select uh, the two most left, so here, one and two. Let me see if I can. Uh, okay, here, there is one and two. That means if you put a jump there, you will be using high voltage, so it's 24 volts. If you're going to use the two most right, which is this guy and this guy, so if you set the jumper here, you're going to use a 12 volt. This is a similar idea that, they have, that this board has for like the fence down here. You can actually select 5, 12 or 24 volts which is pretty good, so you can choose uh, a more powerful fence or lower power fence depending on what you are trying to call. So in my case I have the TMC2160 uh, Pro so I'm going to select 24 volts because I want a higher voltage so I'm going to use more power, more torque for my drivers. So let me Turn around the board right there, and because it's much easier to uh, put the pins like that. And let me select the pins here. Uh, so I'm going to put the first one, and there it is. So let me make it closer. Here is the pin. So if you push it down you insert the pin between the two. You can tell uh, the two pin on the right and the left one is uh, left left alone. This this high voltage. So if you turn around it's kind of uh, there is. Two most left are high voltage. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing on the other ones. It's just repetitive. That's one, and second one. Uh, there's not much space to move, but okay. kind of difficult to do it uh, maybe reversing no again in the middle well wow. okay well wow. I can put that, I'll put it later, okay? So you understood. The, 
the thing that you need to do. So, uh, higher voltage to leftmost, uh, lower voltage to the right. Okay, so 24 and 12, and so you 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 put it on every uh, driver that you are going to use. Now I noticed that, uh, as I mentioned last uh, video, that I'm going to be using uh, this driver for uh, X, I mentioned X, Y, actually 2 Y and Z, and then the two extruder. But then I noticed that these guys are usually set for Z, and this is for Y. So since for Z I have only one I'm going to be using only one driver for Y two drivers. What I'm going to be doing is this to use Z and this guys to Y. How I do that? Well in the config file I can just change the labeling of this inverting instead of Z calling in Y and this inverted in Y calling in Z. And it should work. Because it doesn't matter, these are independent uh, you know, are configured by software, so they're not uh, uh, really uh, hard coded to which which uh, the, uh, access you're setting it to. Right? If you want, to, you can put some of this hex y. You know, whatever it feels uh, better for your print 3D printer. So I'm going to be doing X, Z, one drive for Z, one motor. And then I'm going to have two Y's and then the two extruder because I'm going to have dual pallet extruder. So that's my solution. I'm going to, I'm still studying uh, Clipper, all the details, uh, and it's pretty powerful. So I'm pretty happy with the, my switch from modeling to Clipper. So this this video was just a simple video to showcase how you select the 12 or 24 volts for your driver. So based on your driver, you select the appropriate uh, voltage. Uh, that's it. So I wanted to share this uh, quick video, and I'm going to post more videos in the coming weeks. And please put a like, share the video. Uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment if you have any and um, if you're already subscribed to the channel please set the uh, little bell to be notified when I post new videos okay thank you very much and I'll see you next video bye bye